Hey guys, Raya here. It's been another three months, so it's time to check in on my goals and resolutions for the year. Here's a quick rundown of my goals for the year. They fall into a few categories, general health, and then daily, weekly, and monthly goals. I wanna be eating smaller meals throughout the day to keep my blood sugar regulated, and then I also wanna exercise regularly. For daily goals, I wanna generally set myself up for success with a good sleep routine and generally taking care of my hygiene, and drinking lots of water. For my weekly goals, I wanna make sure that I'm taking time for bigger self-care items and then also building in time to practice any new skills or hobbies. And then my monthly goal is to just get out of the house once a month and make sure to do something fun. We went on multiple long trips this quarter and then we both ended up sick for a couple weeks during the month of June. So overall, I would say this quarter was not super successful. I got to sleep late a lot of times, so I wasn't really setting myself up for success there. I only got up early when we were on our trips because our days were so jam packed. I did do fine at waking up by my planned wake up time every day, but I didn't do well at getting up and actually getting ready for the day. I didn't stretch at all, which I'm very disappointed in. I did end up counting a lot of exercise on the trips we went on since we were walking thousands and thousands of steps a day, but I didn't keep that up once we got back. I did pretty well on morning hygiene once I actually got out of bed, but my current bad habit is falling into a social media black hole every morning for a few hours which is really making me start my day more negatively. And it's really wasting any free time I have that I could be spending writing my book and working on some other hobbies and things. So because of that, I haven't spent any time writing my book this last quarter. And because of the late sleep and being sick, I haven't eaten breakfast very regularly at all. And I've definitely noticed a negative impact on my day, mood, and health. I've done fine with keeping the house clean every morning, which is really good since cleaning up physical clutter helps keep my mind clutter free as well. And even though I haven't been eating breakfast, I have done okay with eating throughout my day, except for those last couple of weeks being sick and just staying in bed. And I know that it doesn't make me a bad person to be failing at some of these goals, but it is frustrating to me because I know I can do better and I know that it's something that I actually want. So it's definitely something I need to refocus on. I've done great at getting work done every day, which typically means doing things for this channel. I've also done well at eating dinner every day, and then I've done pretty well at keeping up on evening chores and making sure things are cleaned up after dinner and that the house isn't too messy. And I'm really proud of myself with my evening routine. I've done really well at brushing my teeth every night, I wash my face most nights, and that's something I've always really struggled with, so I'm glad to have that success. As far as drinking water each day, I did okay with this, but what I really struggled with was tracking. I did end up keeping the same app I was using at the beginning of the year, and that was definitely a mistake on my part, but I never made time to switch over to a new app. The problem with that app is that the user interface isn't very good, and then the notifications weren't very helpful because they weren't great on my smartwatch, and they didn't have a nice easy toggle feature for how much water I drank at that moment, so then I would have to go back into the app and it became a whole thing. I do want to note that these graphs are inaccurate in a good way because since it ended up being so difficult for me to track my water, it ended up being that I actually tracked less than I actually drank each day. But I ended up finding a new app this week and I've used it for the last few days. It's called Stay Hydrated and I really enjoy it. The user interface is so much better and when I set my reminders, the notification that pops up has three different water amounts that I can click on to easy add. It works really well with my watch as well, so I'm excited to refocus on this goal. So overall, I'm kind of generally exactly where I was three months ago. And while that may not be forward progress, obviously stagnation is something to be proud of as well. I'm glad that I didn't regress to where I was at the beginning of the year, and I know the areas that I need to focus on to improve in, and I'm excited to keep giving it a try. Thanks for watching.